Oh, good one in the rain. Next then, it's a two and a quarter mile long distance marathon. And the top one is Easy Goer. Oh, Craig Beck with Rossmore Lad, D. Hooley, Pinko, Darren Thompson, Stay for Another, Joshua Sutherland, Dragon Keeper, Leon Van Rensburg, Mr. Yates, Paul Rhodes, View Carre, Ryan Tamasibi, Tikiti Namika, Alex Cherry, Red Ruth Sky for Craig Allen, Eagle Feathers, Martin Little, Girls on Film, Graham Clutterbuck, Darwin Starlet, Vinnie Gerard, and Libra Eddie for David Robertson. So they're all in there and away they go. And it's pretty dark overhead and it's pretty damp underfoot then as they make their way through the first furlong or so, trying to sort themselves out. They're all in a bit of a heap at the moment, nothing all that keen to go on as they around this outside part of this track it looks like they're on the outside of the track but they're not they're going to take this right hand loop so this is actually the inside part of the course and eagle feathers is in front then now by about a neck to ross Moore lad in second gap of a couple of lengths then to mr yates who's gone third and red ruth sky is fourth and the girls on film and stay for another after that one and then to kitty namika pinko is next then libra eddie looking towards the back darwin starlet it's just about the back marker with dragon keeper it's Eagle Feathers, who's got the lead by about a neck to half a length, I would say, to Rossmore Lad in second. And a gap of a couple of lengths back to Red Ruth Sky in third. Mr. Yates is fourth. Girls on film is next. And then Easy Go and Takiti Namika. And on this rail, then is uh, View Carre. That one's a cocktail, apparently. I'm not quite sure what's in it, but uh, maybe. We'll find out. We can cocktails all round if it wins, maybe. But Dragon Keeper is the back marker at this stage. That's why I think he's a returner from Leon van Rensburg stable. He's put a lot of returners in this week. Give us all a bit of a chance to see how we might be uh, improving because he was the man to beat last season on both codes, wasn't he? And it's Eagle Feathers in the lead then still by about half a length. To Rossmore Lad second, gap off a good three to Red Ruth Sky, and then Mr. Yates. Then comes Girls on Film for that 80s music lover, Graham Clutterbuck. Then Stay for Another, Pinko's after that, then Darwin Starlet to Keating the Mika View. Carre is getting a little bit closer, Libra Eddie is towards the back, and Dragon Keeper is just about the back marker, but it's Eagle Feathers. Still in front, racing downhill in there. Leads by about three quarters of a length to Ross Moore, that second. Guilt on film has now moved through into third. Looking towards the back, Libra Eddie is the back marker. Oh, David Robertson's had a lot of horses so far today that are out the back, but then finish like trains, so don't rule that one out. Uh, View Carre has also dropped towards the back as well, but it's Eagle Feathers in the lead then, and now we've got a commentator's top and tailing the field because mine's in the lead and rides is at the back. But it's Eagle Feathers in front, Ross Morlad second, and then Red Ruth Sky is third. Gap back then to Mr. Yates and Gills on film. Darwin style at the beginning of bunch down. Look at the Leon Van Rensburg horse in that dark blue jacket with a yellow cap creeping through, and also Libra Eddie in those David Robertson maroon and turquoise hoops is beginning to cut through the pack as well. So the race. He's beginning to change complexion and with still five and a half furlongs to race, but Eagle Feathers is still in the lead. Red Roof Sky has crept through into second. Girls on film still going well on the outside in third. The one that's just dropping back a little bit is Ross Moore Lad. Libra Eddie is now nicely placed. Darwin Starlet's coming with a run. Dragon Keeper is there as well. So too is View Caro. That one's getting much closer as Mr. Yates and Stay for another being scrubbed along. Pinko Easy Go and Takiti Namika are the ones who look to be struggling, but it's still Eagle Feathers in the lead. Eagle Feathers is still too clear of Libra. Libra Eddie who's moved through in a second and View Caro has come through in a third. Then Girls on Film, Dragon Keeper and Red Ruth Sky. Mr Yates is beginning to tread water but Eagle Feathers is now being collared by View Caro. And View Caro is coming to challenge for the lead then now. View Caro is taking it up. View Caro from Eagle Feathers, Dragon Keeper. We change angles, two furlongs to go. And it's View Caro who's gone on. Eagle Feathers on the rail is still second. Then comes Dragon Keeper up the centre of the track. Trying to finish one is Darwin Starlet. Mr Yates and Red Ruth Sky are still there as well. It's View Caro who's gone on then now. They race down towards the final furlong. View Caro by about a neck to Dragon Keeper closest to us. It's between these two. They're being chased by Mr. Yates. They're racing out towards the line. And it's View Caro and Dragon Keeper. It's going to be mighty close from this angle. It's a bit deceptive. They flush past that both together and you wouldn't be able to split them. It looks like Dragon Keeper, but the angle definitely favours this side of the track. If you can see where the winning post is. This could well be a dead heat. And looking at that replay, View Carre's got it. And View Carre has at least got a share of it. Because we know 
the dead heats don't come up as dead heats on this screen but it's not a dead heat and it's certainly not a half a length win either view curro takes it for ryan tamas cbc you get yourself behind the mic in the commentators box and you get a winner why doesn't it work for me dragon keeper second for leon van rensburg mr yates for paul rhodes third red ruth sky for craig allen was fourth and darwin starlet for vinnie gerrard was fifth so it's so ryan's not too excited after that win to commentate on the next race